We have now prepared the glass tube bands for decontamination with hydrogen peroxide. We used this uh, Clarus S from Biocoil uh, to decontaminate um, the Scanlav Mars class 2 bench. Um, everything here is set up. Uh, we have closed and sealed uh, the bench to avoid uh, any of the hydrogen peroxide escaping uh, the bench. Um, and we're now ready to start the process. And uh, I have validated programs here uh, at my control board. I push in for the type of cycle I want to run with this, and I push start. And then we see that the, the process here in uh, will power up and start. Now, as you can see, uh, the vaporizer inside is powered on, and uh, the pump is starting to rotate. This means that it's taking hydrogen peroxide from the bottle inside to the vaporizer plate, which is uh, 140 degrees. So the vapor will go into the chamber and, and by the help of this fan be distributed to the whole of the chamber, to the downflow filter. And, and by we are taking air from the inside of the cabinet to this external catalyst then we are also making sure that we have uh, hydrogen peroxide through the exhaust filter so the whole of the cabinet is decontaminated. Um, this process will go on for approximately 45 minutes and after that the internal catalyst will power up and uh, that will run for approximately two and a half hours uh, to break down the hydrogen peroxide. We have hand, hand, hand hold sensors to make sure that everything is okay at the end of uh, the process and uh, if we can see that the, uh, that the level of H H2O2 is uh, be down, uh, below 1 ppm, everything is safe, then we can uh, power down uh, the instruments, we can uh, remove uh, the tape and uh, take a away all the equipment. And, then we have a clean or decontaminated class 2 bands ready for filler change or ready for new work or whatever is needed.